Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got a G right here, Midwest Maverick Sports. Hey, happy Tuesday. It's October 23rd, 2018. Um, back home in the D. Just getting off work here. Figured I'd throw you guys a video for some NBA picks tonight. Small slate, three games. Uh, first one here in Detroit, where uh, the Pistons are hosting the 76ers. Then you have uh, the Clippers going to New Orleans, Pel New Orleans Pelicans, and then the late game, Kings at Nuggets. Uh, before I get into that, give you some picks here. Um, just want to let you guys know, man, coming off an awesome, awesome weekend for football. If you watch my videos, man, my college football, my picks are 70%. My model went 48. If you watch my videos, you see how I'm doing it. I'm, I utilize my model as a tool, all right? And then I make my picks off that. So my picks of that were 70 percent man <laughs> that's a payout and he and even had some close games my locks um my locks went uh five and one they had just lost cincinnati for college football uh that game went in ot too so they could have they very well could have covered easy um but lost it by touchdown in ot so but the rest hit at iowa uh ucf uh, oklahoma uh, Purdue, man, I'm telling you, you got to get on it. Go to, go to my channel, Midwest Maverick Sports. Check them out if you don't believe me. Go watch the videos. NFL, ten and three, Sunday. Ten and three. Well, actually, no, ten and three, including the over. I lost the over last night. All right, it went under, but ten and three. Where else are you getting that at? Where else are you getting ten and three? I see all these videos. Dudes want you to pay. A thousand dollars for packages and all this horse shit when you just go to Midwest Maverick Sports, all free, check me out. I know my shit. I know my sports. I know my football. I know my basketball. Am I going to have weeks that are down? Yeah. Every fucking buddy is. But bounce back, like I said, bounce back 10 to 3 and rake. Hey, if Chargers cover and Eagles win, I'm making this video right now from Cabo. I'm not even joking. That's how good of a week it was. I still raked, but damn. I might be calling my mortgage company right now. But hey, I forgive you. No, um, no. tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell the folks you network with. You know, your buddies at bet, whatever. Hit me up. You know, videos aren't too long. Um, but anyways, with that being said, tonight, like I said, NBA on a Tuesday night. So the first game, uh, can, uh, the line drop, giving Pistons one at home, uh, but then the news of uh, Ben Simmons, he's out tonight with a back injury, and that line moved in favor of Detroit. So Detroit's now at uh, minus one, <clears throat> giving a point to the Sixers. So uh, I'm gonna stay away from betting this game because I watch the Pistons a lot. Uh, I don't think they're there yet. And even with Simmons out, I like the guards of Sixers a lot better than the Pistons. Yes, Pistons, uh, sorry, I was getting a call, incoming call here. Um, I got a turn. Yeah, the Pistons have the advantage down low with Griffin and uh, Drummond. But ultimately, um, I just don't feel comfortable taking the – I don't like Reggie Jackson. Turns the ball over too much. Not a true point guard. I don't like him. Um, so be careful. Uh, but if you do bet, I would bet chalk with the Pistons because, you know, you don't want to make that bet and then kick yourself because, you know, you took a, you took a team without, their, without one of the main all-stars and one of the better, you know, players in the league. So – Lean Pistons, but I'm going to avoid it. I think you should too, unless you're going to do a teaser. All right, I would tease the Pistons. I would tease that down. Four or five points with the Pistons getting. Uh, so if Pistons be getting three or four, um, if you want to do that. But, all right, let's move on to the next game. So, so Clippers at Pelicans. Pelicans are rolling. Pelicans are hot. Um, if you pay attention, if you bet basketball, that's not new. Um, 
that's not news to you. Uh, putting up a lot of points, Mir Miritich and uh, AD, Holiday, them guys are balling. So, uh, and they're at home. Saw a stat earlier, the Clippers are 5-15 and 15 against the spread in the last 20 at New Orleans. That's a pretty significant trend there. Um, and that's what you're going to see with these picks that I make. I I like to consider everything, okay? Um, a lot of times these handicappers, these pro cappers that do it for a living, they just focus, like I said in my other videos, they just focus on one thing. And they're driven by one stat or one, you know, you can't do that. Like I said, you take all these tools, you take all these measurables, all these intangibles, everything, and that's what I do to make my pick. Um, I weight certain things more than others, but um, such as like home court, home field, all that shit, and significant injuries. But ultimately, um, you know, you're looking at the matchup, and a lot of times in NBA, there's uh, there's a lot of shit you got to consider in NBA, especially revenge games. If you if you do uh, daily fantasy uh, sports, you know that in NBA, like if there's a revenge game, damn, you know that's going to be those are huge. Uh, and then, you know, obviously injuries and then late scratches and shit like that. So, um, if you're making these picks, uh, those are stuff you want to consider. So with the Pelicans, um, they're just too hot not to, not to pick at home. And with that trend, um, Clippers on the road, uh, yeah, they've won a couple of games in Houston. Um, yeah, they beat, both these teams beat Houston. Um, Clippers beat them at home. Pelicans smashed them on the road. All right. So it looks like. Looks like Pelicans are giving six and a half to Clippers. I lay that six and a half all day. This will be a double digit win tonight. Um, I lean towards the over in that game as well. I think it's 220, or no, this was the high one, 238, 239. And these, these keep getting higher and higher. This, these totals are crazy. Nobody plays defense in the NBA anymore. They just run and gun. That's all they did. It's just back and forth, like a, watching a volleyball. It's ridiculous. Um, so. These totals are creeping up. Vegas is not sure how to how to set these right now. It's all over the map. I mean, you have like the Nuggets. I can't remember the, the Nuggets are yeah the Nuggets, um, averaging 140 a game. Like, man, come on, dude. That shit's crazy. I mean, it's only three games in, and then Pelicans are averaging a grip load. But you know, it's hard to take unders right now on these teams that that get up and down the floor. So I'm staying away, but if you're gonna bet that, lean towards the over, and like I said, if you wanna tease it in a, in a teaser card, tease it four or five points down and take the over. Um, so yeah, that's it, Pelicans, late at six and a half. And then the late game, you got Kings at the Nuggets, all right, that's what you need to know. The Kings right now, one of the worst defensive squads in the NBA, and Nuggets are one of the best, all right? And Nuggets are putting up points a lot, and they're at home. You know they just beat they just beat uh, the Warriors. Um, it's a bad matchup. Kings are coming off. Kings are coming into this game three and uh, three games in four nights, and that's another huge consideration you want to make both in daily fantasy and making these picks against uh, Vegas against the spread. All right, three and four nights NBA legs are tired, and especially now the way these teams are running, um, you know you got to be careful with that, especially when the three out of four is on a back to back night. That you want. You don't want to, you don't want to bet that team that's on in that situation at all. Um, but so tonight you have the Nuggets with line move now from 11 to 12. They're laying 12 or they're giving 12 uh, to the Kings. I think just like I said, the squads are just too far apart matchup wise. Um, you know, I mentioned home court advantage. Uh, the Nuggets will get this done. This thing will be over with in the third quarter. Uh, these guys, the Kings can't keep up. So. I, I'm laying the 12. You should too. Like I said, another. If you want to tease a card, tease it down. Yeah, to to eight or seven. Um, and the total as well. Be careful on this one because the Kings are on three and four, so they might not have the legs to get it to get their end of the end of the deal of getting the total. Um, and the Nuggets are playing good defense, so be careful with that. I think it's 228, 220 and a half. Um, but like I said. If you're gonna bet it, I lean the over and then I tease it down as well. Tease it down four or five points um, in a card, uh, but you, you can't take unders right now. Um, I don't, I don't really understand. And um, maybe you could take the under in the Pistons game, 
on pace of play. Uh, Pistons typically don't run the floor um, as much as others, but um, and they don't have have the outside shooters. But um, yeah, it's it's crazy. I cannot believe these overs right now in the NBA. But hey, so yeah, lay the lay the twelve with the Nuggets. Um, I think that's a lock. That's a money. That's a easy money win right there. No sweat. Um, but hey, come check me out. Like I said, this is G Ray, Midwest Maverick Sports. Hey, I'm getting this thing. I'm getting this thing going, man. I'm 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 a couple months in. Uh, you know, just winning. I mean, you hate winning or what? Come check me out. Just tell your friends. Tell your people. Um, I'm trying to get everybody else on board. I'm on YouTube as much as I can. And, you know, I'm not getting in, I'm getting like one or comments here or there and shit. If motherfuckers are winning, they're not even thinking me, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but Hey, 10 and three NFL, if you bet every game, I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous percentage there for winnings, but, um, Hey, good luck tonight. Lock those picks in and, uh, bang them books. And I'll catch you on the flip side, which is always the win side. Peace.